Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Randolph and Morris Knowles is brought to you by Ramapo College. Two Morris County rivals clash for a chance to play in the Group 3 state championship. Randolph gets home field advantage in this state semifinal as they face off against the vaunted Morris Knowles Golden Eagles. They are the defending Group 3 champions looking for another trip down to Hamilton. Knowles gets it started in the top of the first. How about this laser shot from Luke Dickerson? That's a stand-up double on the first at bat in this game. Knowles is in business immediately. Dickerson gets to third base and then Joe O'Toole brings him in with a two out RBI single. That will give the Golden Eagles a one nothing lead. Then up comes Billy Wingren. He tacks on another run thanks to some wheels and a chopper up the line. Morris Knowles goes up two nothing here in the first. Both starters settled in on the bump Miami commit James Clavin got through that first inning. Here's one of his five punch outs. Dean Kalicher drew the start for Knowles. He threw three no hit innings. It's still two nothing through the third. And then that's when we ran into some nasty weather. Dark clouds rolled in over Randolph. And then comes the rain coming down so hard it caused a half hour delay, putting a momentary halt to the action. We resume with Luke Dickerson at the plate. Remember, he's sitting on 17 home runs this season. And just like that, we are witnessing history. This is home run number 18 this season. Luke Dickerson ties a record held by Mike Trout in Ashton Bardzell. Dickerson crushes the first pitch he sees after the rain delay. And this is a moment he will never forget. A two-run home run right here. Morris Knowles jumps out to a 4-0 lead. Now we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and Randolph gets a run back. A.J. Terry hits one deep enough to score the runner from third base on a sacrifice fly, but a second runner gets caught in a rundown to end the inning. It's now a 4-1 game through five complete innings. Now to the bottom of the sixth, the Rams threaten again. There's runners on first and second base. Ethan Gorman smashes one to second, but Elijah Fricks is there for the 4-3 double play. Morris Knowles gets out of a big jam unscathed. The Golden Eagles will find insurance at the top of the seventh. A leadoff double from Brody Frecker is followed up by another RBI single from Joe O'Toole. This gives Morris Knowles some cushion in a 5-1 game. The Golden Eagles were flying around defensively. Elijah Fricks now in center field makes a diving grab to rob a leadoff single. This comes in the bottom of the seventh. Fricks continues to shine and make big plays here with some really nice glove work. Dylan Fitzsimmons was on the mound in the bottom of the seventh. He will make the final out of the game to send Morris Knowles back to the Group 3 state final. 5-1 to one is your final. The Golden Eagles will play Delcy on Saturday, June 8th at Veterans Park in Hamilton as they look for their second straight championship. A record-setting day from Luke Dickerson gives Morris Knowles the chance at a repeat. Uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously... I can't explain it uh, to just be up there with one of the greats from New Jersey and Mike Trout. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's such an honor. Um, yeah, again, just same approach, not trying to do too much. Just, again, uh, sticking with uh, what I know and uh, everything works out. Um, but as coaches and players, we recognize that it takes, you know, it's work every day, right? And, and putting it in, obviously our guys had the experience and, and the confidence to know that they could get back there. Uh, and um, I'm just happy for them that, that it played out that way. Reporting from Randolph, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.